What's up everyone, Super Nerd Daniel coming at you with episode 26 of the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we defeated the Elite Four of the Sinnoh League, but not without cost. Unfortunately, after so many episodes of traveling by our side, Shotzi passed away thanks to an earthquake from Lucian's Bronzor. But the rest of the squad is going to carry on in her stead and hopefully help me to defeat the champion. That's the hope anyway. And also obviously I put Bruce out front because my logic there is I don't know what the lead is going to be here. But if I... Oh god. Yep. That fucking piano, man. Like, I've never fought Cynthia in a Sinnoh game. But I remember that fucking piano from going to her house in Undula Town in fucking Pokemon Black and White. Who oh boy. But this is the first time I'll have ever fought Cynthia in her preferred state. In her purest form. In the Sinnoh Pokemon League. I am fucking scared. <laughs> have you been keeping well? Thank you for Mount Coronet. I'm truly grateful. Together, you and your Pokémon overcame all the challenges you faced, however difficult. It means that you've triumphed over any personal weaknesses, too. The power you learned, I can feel it emanating from you. But that's enough talk. Let's get on with why you're here. As the Pokémon League Champion, I accept your challenge! Oh boy. Oh boy. It's finally time to face Pokemon League Champion Cynthia! And she's starting off with a Spirit Tomb! Oh, let's fucking go, I guess? I am so fucking petrified. Oh great, pressure right off the bat. We gotta start with the Weeba Wooba Weep. I can't risk you doing anything cheeky. Alright, so Spirit Tomb is Dark and Ghost. Your only real weakness is Fairy, but I don't have any Pokemon with Fairy moves. And you have Psychic! Okay, let's get the U-turn, get the damage off. And hopefully, by switching into Trickster, I can avoid taking any free damage on the hard switch. Because you'll hopefully use Psychic and just run into a wall of immunity. That's the hope here, that's the logic. And plus, then I can get the amulet coin boost, but that's really not what I'm worried about right now. Alright, good. Even better. Even better. Love that for me. Hoping for a crit on this Night Slash. Come on, Trickster. Pull through. Damn! Oh, and that was a crit also. And you have a berry! Fuck me! Okay, hurt yourself, hurt yourself, hurt yourself, hurt yourself. Fuck! Okay, you have Dark Pulse. It's fine. Ugh, okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I think we can go for the foul play here. Your attack should be pretty high, which means that should do a fair bit, but not enough. Attack yourself. Attack yourself. Fuck! I know. I'm assuming that Cynthia is going to use a Force Store on this Spirit Tomb. So I think I have a turn to Max Potion Trickster. I think I have a freebie here. Yup, there it is. Which means the confusion's gone too. Right. Okay, don't get out of your bag. You don't need to be in there. Let's go for the Night Slash again. We have to hope for crits. I've got high crit ratio on this move, and I've got super luck. There we go. The good thing about Dark Pulse is that it can't flinch me because I'm faster than you. So there's literally no way you can flinch me. Unless you suddenly, like, you know, throw a Quick Claw at your Spirit Tomb somehow. Aw, oh, man. Did you get the crit that time? Alright. Now, I'm gonna guess you're gonna Forest Store again. <laughs> so I think we Max Potion again. Got to start digging into my Forest Stores pretty soon here. I mean, I have enough of them. I just didn't want to have to use them without also curing a status condition if I... You know, if I could help it. 
still doing a fair bit, even resisted. It's because Trickster's freaking defenses aren't that great. Let's go for the drill pack. This should be fine. Good. Okay, Spirit Tomb is down. One down, five to go. We can make this happen, people. Milotic. Okay, this is a job for Boomy. Wait. That might be a job for Tegan, actually. Tegan, I think, might be better. I can get the T-Wave off. And I hope it doesn't have... Oh, what would it be? Marble Scale? Not Marble Scale. There's an ability I'm thinking of where it would get, like, a buff to its stats when it has a status condition. I'm hoping you don't have that. I'm hoping you would just have competitive. Ooh, that did a fair bit. Alright. 30% burn chance did not come through. Love that for me. Alright, so what we do now is we just spark and hope it gets a big damage. And the good thing about this is because you are a female Pokemon, Rivalry is actually going to give me a damage buff. So the ability is coming into play in a good way for once. And we got the full para. Let's go. Let's go. Get the spark off. A crit would be nice. I'm not counting on it, though. If I can get a high damage roll in the next... Damn it. I was going to say, if I can get a high damage roll on the next spark, that I could probably just knock it out anyway. But apparently, that's just not going to happen. I just keep sparking, Tegan. If I need to, I'll take a turn to heal you. Especially if it's going to keep using Scald. Because one of these times, it's going to get the burn. Which means I'm going to need the full restore... To take care of both problems. Like, as long as you don't crit, I think we're fine. Oh, you're withdrawing Milotic. Oh, God, don't bring out the Garchomp. Oh, Gastrodon. Also immune. Great. Well, then. That sucks for me. All right, Bruce, get out here and handle it. I'm going to have you weeba wooba weep the Gastrodon. And I'm going to hope it doesn't have Ice Beam. Haha, <laughs> nerd. I only have four Confused Rays left. I gotta be real careful here. Oh, probably should use my Max Elixirs and Ethers and all that before the battle. That would have been the smart thing to do. Oh, we have Rock Tomb. It's not much better than Ice Beam. Still super effective, and it's gonna lower my speed. I should still be faster than you specifically, but it's still not great. Alright, we're gonna Max Potion Teague in here real quick. Because I would like Tegan to not be on the verge of death, if I can help it. Alright, hurt yourself, hurt yourself, hurt yourself, hurt yourself, hurt yourself. Good. Alright, so far, so good. Oh my god, of course you have leftovers. Just like every competitive player who uses Gastrodon. You have lefties on it. Because my life is a joke. Alright, let's go for the Air Slash. Hope for the flinch, and yes, I know what the move does this time. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Fuck! Oh, friendship packs. Good. God, this is gonna take 10 years. I think we just have to hard switch into Boomy. I think we just hard switch into Boomy and then Giga Drain. I think that's the play here. Hopefully, you hurt yourself in confusion. That'd be great. Give me the freebie. Give me the freebie. Give me the freebie. Fuck! Ugh, okay. Didn't get the burn. I'm real lucky you're not getting the burn on any of these scalds. That's something I'm real happy about. Because it's really working out in my favor. Nice. That should heal me up from the scald. Almost to full. Nope, entirely. It just healed me up entirely. I'm fine with that. There's a Milotic. You know what? I think we keep Boomy out here. I think we keep Boomy out here and just Razor Leaf. Even if Milotic does have Ice Beam, it's not Stab. I don't think we need the Quick Clock until you're paralyzed, but I'll take it. Any port in a storm. Oh god, they didn't do nearly enough. They didn't do nearly enough! And you have Ice Beam! Eh, Boomy! 
with friendship hacks. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Uh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, Tegan. Um, Tegan, please, please handle it. Please handle it. Okay, we got the full para. I think I can take a turn. Because you're probably going to scald. I think I can take a turn to Max Potion Boomy. Fuck my actual life. Oh, God. There's the recovery. Okay. Great. Yeah, this is going to be an ordeal. This Milotic is going to be a fucking ordeal in and of itself. I have an idea, though. Damn, didn't get the defense drop. That's not good. Skull is doing a fair bit of damage. That's even worse. All right, this turn, we got to heal. Because that Skull is going to do a lot. God damn it, I can't get this defense drop to save my life. Literally. Okay, we can do one more turn. Because you're just recovering. It's fine. I'm just trying to lower your defense. I'm just trying to lower your defense here. That's what I need for these sparks to do more damage. I'm not getting the defense drop. It's making me worried. All right, there's a Scald. All right, we're going to need to recover. I'm getting way too lucky with these freaking, um... I'm getting way too lucky with these Scalds and not getting the burn. That is a 30% chance to burn with Scald. Okay, full para. Excellent. We got a freebie. I will always take a freebie. There we go. Finally, we got the defense drop. Okay. We're in business. And we got another freebie. Okay. I think we go for crunch again. I want it to be at least minus two before I start sparking again. I could just knock it out. Oh, that was a crit. I was going to say maybe I could just kill it with crunch, but uh, maybe I'm getting a bit ahead of myself here. I might be getting a bit ahead of myself on that line of thought. Thankfully, for Sword doesn't affect stat changes, so this is still going to be in my favor. If I can get a second defense drop, I can start sparking again. Good. Perfect. There's a Scald. Please don't burn. Please don't burn. That did almost half. Right, come on, Tegan. Work with me here. Big spark. Big spark. There we go. Don't recover. Don't recover. Don't recover. I would like to recover, though. That should make sure that I... Son of the fuck! This Milotic is going to be the death of me, and possibly my Luxray, but mostly me. Hey, right, come on. Let's get this big spark. High damage roll. Let's go! High damage roll, baby! Love to see it. Oh, boy. All right, so... Roserade? Alright, so I think... Yeah, Ruby Soho should be the play. I think we pluck the Roserade and it should be fine. Actually, I think we're gonna have to double team real quick because I think I need... Um, I think I need Tegan to be full health because if I recall from my other battles with Cynthia in other games, she also has a Togekiss. Which I'm going to need Tegan for, especially considering that my other answer to Togekiss, Houndoom, is now dead. So, you know, that's fun. Although, I guess I still have Crobat also, but... Yeah, I still have Crobat. I'm forgetting members of my own party. I'm under stress, alright? Leave me alone. Alright, uh, so we got the freebie thanks to the friendship hacks. The C-Stick is still pissing me off. Okay, I think we just hyper... Because we don't have that much HP lost. It's fine. Sludge Bomb, we didn't avoid it this time. Okay, I think we switched to Bruce here. I think we switched to Bruce. Because I would resist both of your stabs. <laughs> also, the Intimidate didn't even come into play because you're attacking specially. So, you know, that's fun. Jesus, that still did so much. Oh, that was a crit. That makes sense. Okay, uh, would a Hyper Potion be enough? That's 120. No, let's just go for the Full Restore. Let's go for the Full Restore, Daniel. Let's go for what you need. Sludge Bomb's not going to do that much unless it crits again. 
Or you just shadow ball. No spadef drop, good. Should use air slash. I'm gonna regret that. I mean, thank you for the crit, but it didn't kill. Okay, yep, we definitely heal this turn. We definitely heal this turn. I'm not thinking. I'm not thinking, dude. Rosary is half poison. So, of course, I would have only been neutral, you dork. Yep, there's a four sword for you. So, I'm going to have to use Air Slash. You know, like I should have in the first place. Alright, Air Slash. Here we go. Cha -cha 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 -cha. That only got me a little over half. There's a Shadow Ball. Please don't drop my Spadef. Because I still need Crobat to deal with the Togekiss. Thank you. There we go. Roseray is down. Perfect. Oh god, I forgot about Lucario. How the fuck am I going to deal with this? I think my best bet is Boomy. I think Boomy's my best bet. I just come in and EQ. I think I just come in and EQ, and then that's how I deal with this. It's level 63. Oh boy. All right. Uh, Earthquake. Here we go. Flash Cannon. Friendship Packs. Perfect. Not that I think I would have killed, but it was Stab. Good. Lucario's down. Perfect. Oh god, you're bringing in the guard shop. You're not even you're just skipping right over the Togekiss. Okay. Um Here's the plan. We bring in Ruby Soho. We heal. We heal first. Just to scout the first move, because I want to get the Intimidate off to get its attack lore by one stage. I can't remember the last time I was put in a corner like this. Yeah, it's because I'm the main character. But don't anyone tell her that I'm actually sweating. <laughs> At least on the inside. God, okay. We got the Intimidate off. That's what I needed. We're going to full restore because I'm going to scout your moves. I'm going to hope you don't have Stone Edge. Please. Please. Okay, Dragon Claw. Uh, okay, that didn't do half. The Intimidate came into play there. Scumbag Tactics. Heal Tactics. Let's go. Oh, God, you're using Swords Dance. Okay, so accounting for the Intimidate, now you're plus one overall. This double team is literally going to save my fucking life. Oh no. Oh no. Ruby? Ruby? RUBY! Why do I even say words? Oh, this double team will save my life. Yeah, so much for that fucking idea. Ugh, I knew I wasn't going to get out of Cynthia's battle without a casualty, but fuck me, dude. Boomy's my best bet. Its physical defense is the highest of anyone in my party, and Garchomp is obviously a freaking physical attacker. Especially considering it's plus one right now. And the Quick Law comes into play. This Giga Drain needs to do big damage. That's not big damage. That was a crit? Oh my fucking god. You're plus three. You're plus three. You're plus three. This is not good. This is not good. I'm going to have to go for the EQ. It's, it's my most powerful move. Oh, God! Oh, God! One Dragon Claw brings me down to 9 HP! Oh, my God! 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 Um... Fuck! 
Can we don't ice heal, you dork. All right, there's a forest store for you. That's fine. I figured that's what you were going to do. I am not a fan of this. I am not a fan. I, I think we just curse scum. We're going to have to curse scum. Ugh. Oh boy, these damage rolls. They got me down to five this time. Okay. So my logic here is that I'm going to curse and heal and curse and heal until I get to such a point where I feel like I can survive a Dragon Claw and hit a really high boosted Earthquake and take out this Garchomp. It's all I have to do. I have to curse Scum. Garchomp's going to be faster than me anyway. I have the chance for the Quick Loss, so the speed drop shouldn't matter as long as I live. Okay, good. Oh, God. Okay, it's fine. I can outpace her Dragon Claws as long as she runs out. I have more four restores than you have Dragon Claws. Okay, how many was that? That was that was like three, right? I think that was three. How much how much PP does Dragon Claw have? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Dragon Claw PP. I don't remember. I don't remember how much it has. Okay, 15. So that's at least three that I'm aware of. Okay. There was the one. Okay, it was actually four. There was the one that brought me down to nine. There's one we brought, uh, the one that brought me down to five, and there was the um, the two in between these four stores. So I think we have eleven left right now. I just have to make sure you run out. Ugh! I just have to hope you don't crit. That's the other thing. If you don't think I'll scumbag you through the rest of this battle, Cynthia, you're out of your mind. You're actually out of your goddamn gourd. Poison jab? Okay, we missed. It missed. We dodged it because she missed. We have an opening to get another curse off. Don't crit, don't crit. Perfect. I don't know why she went for poison jab there, but I'll take it. I'm not going to complain. I will not complain about the freebie. Dude, if I didn't have the friendship packs, I'd be so fucked. <laughs> I would be so fucked right now if I didn't have the friendship packs on so many occasions in this Elite Four challenge. God damn. Alright, Dragon Claw. After after another curse? Oh, it's still doing just over half. Okay. I have to wait till you either miss or fuck up and use Poison Jab again. Although I guess if you use Poison Jab and then Dragon Claw would probably kill me. Come on, friendship packs. Damn. Okay, I can't. Do I risk the damage roll? Do I risk the damage roll? I think I risk the damage roll. We're going for it. Oh, we're using sword stance. Oh my fucking god! And I could have EQ'd! I could have EQ'd! Man, now we're right back in this shit again. Pretty sure you're like plus five right now if my math is right. Yeah, there's a Dragon Claw. Don't crit, don't crit. Good. I think it's like maybe eight left now. I just have to see. I just have to see if I can do this. Because once I can get an EQ off of all these boosts I've got, I feel like that's GG. But I can't risk it if the low rolls are still doing over half. I can't risk it yet. I just have to keep pumping Boomy full of drugs until I get the outcome I want, which is you missing due to my friendship. Come on, come on, 
Boomy, I need you to tap into the power of friendship. Believe in the heart of the cards. You've done it before in this battle and in this challenge. I need you to do it again, Boomy. Fuck. I, you're definitely running low, though. You have to be running low. There's no way you have a fucking PP maxed out guard shop. There's no way I'm going to have to deal with 24 of these Dragon Claws. There's no actual way. There's a poison jab. Okay. I think I can live the high damage roll on this. I think I live it. Oh, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. The power of friendship came into play. Please kill. Please kill. Fuck. All right, you're probably going to four store again. I think I get away with another EQ. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Now, if we can... If we can power friendship another crit, I would really appreciate that, Boomy. That'd be pretty hype. Damn. No crit. All right. But I think one more EQ does it. I think one more EQ does it. If we live this poison jab, we win. We live the poison jab. We win. Eat shit, guard shop. Eat shit. Boomy grows to level 66. Well deserved. Bruce goes to level 64. Also well deserved. And we have defeated Champion Cynthia. Just a few minutes ago, you were the most powerful challenger. And just now, you became the most powerful of all the trainers. You are now our newest champion. Give me that 26k. Fuck me, I'm going on vacation. That was excellent. Truly an outstanding battle. You gave the support your Pokemon needed to maximize their power, and you guided them with certainty to secure a victory. Was it certainty, or was it the power of friendship combined with RNG, combined with damage rolls, combined with a lot of forest stores? Because I think that's what it was. <laughs> oh, fuck me. You have both passion and calculating coolness. Uh, coolness? 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 Are we talking about the same person here? Together, you and your Pokemon can overcome any challenge that may come your way. Those are the impressions I got from our battle. I'm glad I got to take part in the crowning of Sinnoh's new champion. Now then, step into the lift. Don't mind if I do. God, now I can finally breathe a little bit. The room ahead is the Hall of Fame. Oh, hey, Rowan, what's up? Here to see me enshrined in victory? Daniel, your last battle was splendid. Oh, hello, Professor Rowan. Hmm, a child that enlisted for my Pokedex project has come this far. It's only natural that I come and witness their crowning achievements. Daniel, I shouldn't call you a child anymore. You've grown to a real champion. Yeah, that and the fact that in real life I'm 31, so like, you know, it's a little weird. <laughs> Professor, you still enjoy the enthusiasm kids bring to your research, don't you? Step this way, Daniel. Professor Rowan, I need you over here as well. Wait, why does he need to be in there? Is he also a champion? I doubt it. Or is this whole thing to become the champion on his behalf? You know, like with the Pokedex and everything else. It's been a long time since I last entered this room. If the last time you were here was when I became champion, then yes, that would be quite a long time ago. Okay, so he oversaw her becoming the champion. Was Rowan the champion, or was he simply here kind of like he is with me? Huh. Interesting to think about. Daniel... Welcome to the Hall of Fame! Your names will be recorded for posterity here. What you are leaving are the memories of your adventures so far. It's time to record your names, you and your Pokémon. Remember, your Pokémon are partners that grew with you through many challenging battles. This machine will make a permanent record of your achievements. Yeah, even those who died in the heat of glory. 
because of my stupid decision making. Bruce the Crowbat! Trickster the Honchcrow! Shotzi the Houndoom, now deceased! Ruby Soho the Star Raptor, now deceased! Tegan the Luxray! And Boomy the Torterra! The Dream Team, enshrined forever in glory, their names etched into the halls of history forever! Hell yeah! And that's it! Ooh! Baby! That was a fucking ordeal! I'm gonna let the credits play out here, obviously. While I, you know, decompress from that. Sorry, I had to get a drink of my water, because, uh, goddamn, battling Pokemon is dehydrating. <laughs> it's at least emotionally exhausting, especially when there are lives on the line. But yeah, um, I think I've mentioned this in some of the pinned comments of some of the other more recent episodes. I am not going to stop the series here yet. I'm going to do some of the post-game stuff. I don't know what that's going to be, and I'm not going to do all of it. Like, I'm not out here trying to, you know, complete the Pokedex and, you know, create an encyclopedic playthrough with every single thing that you could possibly do in this game. Because I, I do have to work on my, like, mainline content at some point. And I think I'm probably going to take a little bit of a break between this and doing the post-game stuff. Just so I can do that. Um, but obviously, you know... This is not the end of the series. This is the, end, uh, this is the end of the main story, mind you. And I don't know if I'm going to keep the Nuzlocke rules on for the post-game stuff, because really, um, the Nuzlocke, for me at least, was like, hey, let's not try to die before I get to the champion and defeat Cynthia and do that successfully. That was my thought process, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll keep the Nuzlocke rules on just for the sake of, uh, some of the post-game stuff, I think, might be coming up. Oh, where the hell was that? I literally was never to that place. Wherever that was. Well, I guess it's something to explore in the post-game, isn't it? But yeah, I do really want to thank you all for uh, watching this series. I know, you know, I haven't done, like, a proper Let's Play in a little bit, aside from that Life is Strange True Colors playthrough I did a little while ago. But, um, I know some of you are really looking forward to me playing this. I, I hope that this playthrough has lived up to your expectations thus far. Like I said, I'm going to do, like, a few bonus episodes, just, uh, doing some random stuff in the postgame. I don't know what that's going to be yet. I mean, I have some idea. But, you know, we'll see what that is when we get to it. But, yeah... I gotta say, um, comparing this to the other instances of uh, Cynthia in other Pokemon games, I don't have any perspective on what she was like in the original Sinnoh games. Obviously, I don't have that perspective. But, you know, stacking her up against how she was in Black and White and Black and White 2 in the Pokemon World Tournament, um, this, I think, is definitely one of the harder ones. Although that might have something to do with the fact that lives were definitely at risk. That definitely had something to do with it. So, you know, that probably plays into my opinion a little bit, but even so. You know, just the fact her fucking guard shop, dude, was such a bastard. Good lord. That guard shop gave me such fucking trouble. But... We came out of it alive, mostly. I mean, we are already sure of our full party with Shotzi dead, but like... The fact that I lost Ruby Soho, too? And you know what? That would have been even worse. 
That would have been even worse if I didn't have Ruby Soho out there to get the Intimidate off. To make sure that Garchomp was only plus 5 and not plus 6. Because uh, if I didn't have that Intimidate, Boomy would have died immediately. Boomy would have absolutely died immediately. It would not have been great for me. Hey, Mom. Boy, do I have some shit to tell you about. Did you know I stopped a terrorist organization from destroying the universe? True story. Alright, that may be it for the main story playthrough, but like I said, there's some post-game stuff we gotta do. But before we get into any of that, which will be in the next episode, by the way, which I don't know when that's gonna be. There's one more thing we gotta do. Ah, oh, Shotzi. You were my first great find from the Grand Underground. You served the role of my token fire type so well. Not to mention you rounded out my team with another dark type, which I always appreciated, given my affinity for dark types. And if it wasn't for that fucking Bronzor having Earthquake, you still would be with us today. But now we lay you to rest. Alongside Ruby Soho, who was so instrumental in bringing down Cynthia's Garchomp. If not for that Intimidate, Garchomp would have ripped through Boomy, and I have very little doubt that the rest of the team would have fared much better. Given their much lower physical defense than Boomy. That one little bit of attack made such a difference. So your Intimidation is so well appreciated, Ruby. God, you were one of the OGs. I caught you back at Lake Valor. I think it was Lake Valor. Lake Verity. I caught you back at whatever the first lake was that I visited. At the very start of the journey, I still remember catching you as a little baby Starly. And the fact that you got us all the way through the championship battle. Fuck, dude. This sucks. But them's the breaks in the Nuzlocke. Okay, honestly, I have no idea what I'm going to do in the post game, and I have no idea who's going to take up those other two slots in the party. But I guess we'll figure that out in the first post-game episode of the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Nuzlocke. So thank you very much for supporting this main story portion of the playthrough. Uh, probably going to do the post-game sometime later this month or maybe at the start of February. Who knows? Depends on how well other stuff goes for me as far as my mainline content. So be on the lookout for that as well. But anyway, thank you for watching. Answer the comment question down below. Give it a like if you liked it. Share this on your favorite social medias, and this is never going to stop being a thing that I say, please drink water, alright? Please drink water. I'm going to bully you all into self-care even if it kills ya. Alright, thanks for watching everybody. See you in the next video, friendos.